I'm Matt Willis, Public Health Officer for Marin County, and the big news this week regarding our pandemic response is that the FDA has authorized a second dose of the new bivalent booster that was introduced eight months ago, and they officially retired or deauthorized the original monovalent vaccine. This is important for us in Marin for three reasons. First, we know the virus is still active locally. Our Marin COVID level is medium, based on virus levels in wastewater and hospitalizations. There are 11 people currently hospitalized with COVID in our county. Second, is we know currently circulating strains in Marin are offspring of Omicron and have gained that ability to evade the immune system, making the original monovalent vaccine less effective. But we know the updated vaccine can prevent serious illness from these currently circulating strains. And third, many of us who are at highest risk have gotten that bivalent dose when it first came out last September or October, and that's seven to eight months out. Immunity has probably waned to a point where some of us are vulnerable again for serious illness. So the question is, who should get a second bivalent vaccine and how urgent is it? The CDC has answered the question of who, and not surprisingly, it's these groups, anyone age 65 or over, or who has a chronic condition that puts them at higher risk for bad outcomes if they're infected, and who is more than four months out since their last shot. Regarding urgency, I don't see this as something that anyone needs to drop everything and go get vaccinated now. The question really is how high up do we put this on our to-do list in the next couple weeks? Urgency is based, I see, on two factors. One is your risk for a bad outcome if you're infected. Right now in Marin, almost everyone who's hospitalized for COVID is above age 65 and has a medical condition that further increases risk. There are many reasons why most of us who get COVID are getting less sick these days than we used to, but the main one is immunologic. That is, the combination of vaccines and infections that most of us have experienced if we have a normal immune system, has equipped our body to better fight it off. But that's not true for everyone. And those are the folks that need a brush up on immunity by getting a second bivalent booster soon. The other factor regarding urgency is how long it's been since your last shot or infection. You don't qualify if it's less than four months since your last shot. Keep in mind that immunity after a shot or infection is a bit like a battery. The power slowly diminishes over time. My recommendation is if you're generally healthy and are eligible, and it's been six months since your last shot or infection, it's a good idea to add a second bivalent shot to your to-do list over the next couple weeks. For the general public who don't have those risk factors, you're not eligible anyway, and you're probably better off waiting until the booster is available for everyone in the fall, where we anticipate authorization will expand and get it along with your flu shot. Note, if you haven't had a COVID shot in the past eight months since August, then you haven't gotten even one bivalent booster and all adults should have at least that. So to summarize, it's good news the bivalent vaccine remains effective and that it's being made available to those who need it most as a second dose. The original vaccine that served us so well early on is being retired. Those who should be prioritizing getting a second bivalent shot are older residents, those with chronic conditions, especially those who are furthest out from their last shot. Your medical provider and local pharmacies will be eager to protect you. And you, look at, you can look at Vaccine Finder on our website for other options. Thank you for doing your part.